this is video number seven in my time value of money series and here I'm gonna present calculations for the present value of annuities and once again annuities are fixed cash flows occurring over a defined period of time and so again the two elements to this is that the cash flows have to be the same from year to year and secondly the time period has to be bounded so in this first example we have a four-year annuity with a cash payment of $500 each year. And notice that this is an ordinary annuity in the sense that the cash flows occur at the end of each period. So this is the more regular type of annuity. And as I said in an earlier presentation, anytime cash flows are expressed in financial analysis, you have to assume that those cash flows occur at the end of a period. If they occur at a period other than the, other than at the end, that will be informed. You will be informed as such. All right. So to find the present value of this set of cash flows, we can go the real old school way by individually discounting each of these cash flows to the present. So this is where we are, and this is the point where value is being calculated. So we can discount this first 500 over one year, the second one over two years, the third one over three years, and the final one over four years, all at 8%, and then add them all up. Alternatively, even faster, we can use the present value for annuity formula and plug and play and we find that the present value of uh, this set of cash flows comes out to be 1656.06 .06. so this is the current value of this set of cash flows you could either you, you should be indifferent between this amount and receiving these cash flows each year for four years that's the significance of that all right now but we can do this real quickly using the BA2 plus and here I summarize the input for you so let's go let's do that so I'm gonna bring this up clear the calculator by hitting this key a couple of times and then notice again that here we just have annuity payments so um, it's one um, operation payments and it's right here in the third row of keys so but before I do anything I'm gonna to have to hit second clear TVM second clear work all right so following this um, uh, cheat sheet right here but in no particular order 500 is payments and uh, 4 is N 8 is I over Y and we compute present value right there and you can remove this negative by hitting this key right here and that's your result 1656.06 .06. next stop here is the case of annuity due. So here the cash flows occur at the beginning of each period much like paying rent uh, um, when you live in an apartment. I believe that rent is typically paid at the beginning of each period. Alright, so now again we can discount each of these individually. The first cash flow of 500 of course would not have to be discounted because it is it occurs today but this second one would have to be discounted over one period, the third one over two periods, and the uh, fourth and final one over three periods. As you know, discounting, just like compounding, is determined based on the uh, the uh, period is determined based on when the cash flow occurs and when value is being determined. So now, but rather than do it individually and add them all up, we could also use the present value for annuity due formula. And all we have to do is post multiply what we calculate right here by one plus the required rate of return which is what you see me do right here so that gives us the present value for this annuity due to be 1788.55 it's better yet let's hook it up with um, a BA2 plus right here alright so I'm gonna pull this up and I'm gonna, I'm gonna move it this way and as I explained here you're gonna to have to start by resetting this calculator to annuity due mode alright so right now it's ordinary mode so to do so second begin second set so uh, but first I'm gonna go second clear TVM second clear work then I need to change the mode so this is my begin here and this is set here both are second functions and that's why you're gonna to have to go second begin second set so to quit from this uh, get rid of this 
second quit. So now you see beginning at the top right corner of, this, of the screen. So let's go ahead and rock and roll. 500 is our annuity payment. 4 is our discounting period. And 8 is the discount rate. And then you compute PV. Remove the negative by hitting this key. And that's your result, 1788.55 approximately. Now, but as I note here, right after you get your results, I said quickly restore to the original setting afterward. That way, you don't run the risk of uh, messing up your subsequent analysis with this calculator. So let's clear the screen and go ahead and uh, do that again. Second, begin, second, set. So second, begin, second, set. That's it. End. All right. So let's quit from there. And now we're back to where we where we were before. So that wraps it up. All I want to show you right now is how to do this with um, Excel. So there are two ways you can accomplish this task. The first is to um, describe uh, to define the general structure of the cash flows, which is what you see here for each of the years. And then you can use the NPV function right here. Or, you recognizing that this is an annuity, you can use um, the uh, pr regular present value function, which within it contains annuity payment. So, let me show you how this goes. So, with your cash flow, uh, with your inputs clearly uh, shown, we go equal NPV open parenthesis it prompts you for the rates alright so let's click on the rate right there comma and then it says grab all the cash flows from the first to the four to the last one the last one being the fourth one so click hold get all of these close parenthesis and ladies and gentlemen there you have it that's your present value of ordinary annuity you can also come out here and use the regular present value function which is the PV function open parenthesis it prompts you for the rates click on it comma it prompts you for the number of periods which is in click on it comma it prompts you for the annuity payments all right and I'm going to use negative to grab it so my results will show us will come out positive and then I'm done the next two optional entries would be future value which we don't really have here and type which is a way of asking you is this an annuity due or is this an ordinary annuity it's optional in the case of uh, ordinary annuity so you can just go ahead and close parenthesis right there and you're gonna get the correct answer as shown now though when you have the case of annuity due which is which has this cash flow structure as we've just seen again you have the choice to uh, define the general cash flow structure and use the NPV key or you can use the regular present value key after um, showing the defining the input so let's use the NPV key and uh, it's actually gonna be basically the same so equal NPV open parenthesis it prompts you for rate you click on it comma now though the reason I'm doing this is to remind you that when you using the NPV function the function allows you to start from the first cash flow you see there value one and as I show here CF one to the last one it does not include this guy right here CF sub zero the cash flow occurring at time zero which is this first 500 here so you want to start from here hold and move down right and then close because cash flow at time zero occurs at the point where value is being determined you simply add it in so plus you click on it all right just like I show right here and that is the present value of this annuity due and using the regular present value um, function again rate click on it comma number of periods click on it comma payment I'm going to use negative to reference it so now we need to let the computer know that um, we do that this is a uh, annuity due so that's type but to get to type we got to get past this guy right here future value which we do not have so all we got to do is hit comma and type zero for that argument and then z uh, comma and then now the computer says do you have end of period or beginning of period we do have beginning of period one and that's what I wrote out here for you so that's it close parenthesis and voila